Hello, my name is Pastor Roland, and I'm here to talk to you about something very important. I want to talk to you about love. But for you to know what love is, you must first give up hate. Or, put it another way, give up resentment and judgment. See, a lot of us are very sneaky about our judgments and our hatreds of other people. We become fixated to other people judging them, see, hating them, resenting them. And the worst re resentment of all, the worst hatred of all, the deepest re hatred of all is toward our father who failed us. A lot of, all fathers have failed their families, but some more than others. But the secret for you is if your father was good, then that's good for you. If your father was not so good, you can still be okay if you don't hate him, if you don't resent him, okay? It's very important. You know, it's possible, too, to hate one's father, even if you don't know who your father was. You still hate father. See, what, is, what does hate do? First of all, hate, hate blocks us from love. Where does, and where does love come from? Love comes from God. It comes from within. Love comes from within, from God. See? through you if you if you ex see if you express love and one way of expressing love is by not hating it's by being patient if you see someone in error somebody's wrong or somebody's cruel or teasing and you don't hate them if you don't hate the other person if, in other words if you're patient you observe the error but you don't resent that's patience and by expressing patience Patience is love. It's a facet of love. So the fact that you're not becoming unglued, that you're not getting angry, that you're not, see what I mean? The fact that you remain patient. It doesn't, I don't mean suppressing anger, suppressing emotion. I mean simply being patient. You observe the error, but you don't resent the, the person for the error. That's patience. It comes through you. God permits you. See, by grace, you are able to be patient. Before, you would have fallen apart at the seams. You would have become angry, enraged, full of resentment. See, now you're patient. The love comes through you, and that love is good for you. And the more you love others by not hating, the more that love flows through you, and then you feel the love. And when you're able to forgive others by not hating, by not resenting, then you also can be patient with yourself. And you feel God's patience with you. See? Repentance is probably what you need. You need to be sorry for all your hates and judgments of other people. Beginning with your father and your mom. Your unloved mom and your poor old dad. And a lot of other people. One day you need to be sorry. Just have a good cry. Just see how much hate is in you and be sorry for it. Let it go. And then when you let it go, then suddenly you'll feel God's love. And when you feel God's love, then I think you'll be able to be patient with other people. When you feel God's love. Okay? So now you know what love is, and now you know what blocks it. It's resentment of other people. Especially resentment of Father, like I said. Because if you resent your Father, it, it, um, it blocks you from God's love. It's that simple. So now you know. I've got a lot of resources. I've got a meditation. You really should get one of my meditations and start using them. Because now you're probably so full of brain, you're so lost in brain fog from all your texting and video games and music and everything. It's hard, hard to focus in the right kind of a way. So get my meditation. And uh, I'm here to help. My name is Pastor Roland.